everybody. It's Miss Melissa. I'm so sorry that I didn't get with you the last couple of weeks. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't feeling very well for a while, but I'm feeling much better now. So um, I wanted to let you know that we were, I hope you watched me on the children's sermon last week, and I hope you're joining us for our praise Bible school. I've got my praise banner here and a couple of the um, logos for the praise. And if you and I made my cross necklace. If you have not gotten um, your kit, if you want to still join Bible school, there is still time. We have a couple of kits left, so just let us know if you would like to do that. Um, just send me an email, and we'll get that taken care of. Okay. All right. So let's pretend that we're leaving church, and then we stop at the Jesus banner, right? And then we count all the children of God, because we're all children of God, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen with Jesus, eighteen with me, nineteen with Priscilla, twenty with you. And then how many more people of God, children of God are there at your house? So you'll have to keep counting from 20, okay? All right, so then we would go to our classroom, and then we would turn our candle on, right? And I don't have one that I can just turn on, so I'm going to light mine. There we go. So now my candle is lit. And then, who's here? That's right, it's Priscilla. Hi, everybody. You know what? I'm sad. Something bad happened. My my cousin took my favorite toy, and she won't give it back. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I'm sorry to hear that, Priscilla. I bet that makes her angry. You think it does? Well, I am. I don't know what to do. What do you do when you feel angry with somebody? Like a cousin or brother or sister or a friend? What do you do? Hmm. That is an interesting question. What do we do when we're angry with somebody? Oh, my kitty wanted to say hi, Priscilla. Oh, see? <laughs> um. Well, there's lots of different things we can do when we're angry. There's sometimes we yell. And sometimes maybe we stomp our feet or bang our fist on the table. Just say, I'm upset. And sometimes maybe we do some other things that we shouldn't do. Like maybe we try to hurt somebody if we're really angry. And that's not the way that Jesus wants us to be, right? But there's, but it's always good to let people know how you feel. Because you don't want to hide what you're feeling. If you're upset, you need to let people know that you're upset. Okay? Well, our story from the Bible today is about two brothers, and they didn't always get along. You know what? I don't know any brothers and sisters who always get along. But these two are called Jacob and Esau. And you know what? They were twins. So they had the same birthday. They were born at the same time. But one of them was a little bit older, a few minutes older, and his name was Esau. And this is about him and his brother Jacob. And we have the story in the curriculum that your parents are going to get, but it's a little bit long. And I thought it might be fun to read it from our Spark Story Bible, which is normally in, that we normally have at church. So... We're going to read it from there, okay? And the story in here is called Isaac's Blessing. Oh, look, see, there's the two twins. There's, there's Esau and there's Jacob. Look, he's got a little bit more hair. I don't know if you can see it very well. In the, see how hairy he is? Well, Rebecca and Isaac asked, for God, asked God for a child. God gave them not one baby, but two twins. Kick, jab, 
Rebecca could feel the babies fighting and pushing and pulling in each other inside of her, even, before they were born. God, she prayed, why are my babies fighting? God answered, they're in a race to be born first. Your family will be different. Your younger son will be the leader of the older one. And that was a surprise to Rebecca. Because back then, the oldest child was usually the leader of all the brothers and sisters. Wow! Esau was born first. He was hairy and had red hair. And Jacob was born next. He had smooth skin. And the race was so close that Jacob was born holding on to Esau's foot. They were born just right after each other. Not even a minute in between. And before long, the twins grew into men. And they were very different. Esau was big and strong. And Esau made Isaac very proud because he was a hunter. Jacob was smaller than Esau and very quiet. But Rebecca loved that Isaac, that Jacob stayed around the house. When Isaac became old and blind, it was time to give his blessing to his oldest child, passing on the leadership of the family. And we're going to read more, hear more about that next week. But our story for this week is when Jacob was out hunting, he, or Isaac was out, oh my goodness, there's so many names. Esau, Isaac's son, was out hunting, and he was hunting all day, and he didn't have anything to eat. He came home, and Jacob was there, and he was cooking stew, and it smelled so good. And Esau was so hungry, he said, Jacob, just give me some of that stew. I'm so hungry. And he, Jacob's like, well, the stew is re really necessarily for you. And he said, oh, I'll give you anything you want. Jacob, just, just give me some food. Well, what did he do, you think? He said, okay, I'll give you some of this food, but... But you need to give me your birthright. Like the right to lead everything in the family. That That's going to be mine now. Even though I'm younger. And Esau was so hungry. He's like, oh, oh, that's fine. Whatever. I just need to eat now. So he kind of tricked him. Because that was a really big thing to give up. Jacob was kind of tricky. We're going to learn a little bit more about that next week. But that's our story today is about him giving Esau giving up his birthright. Just... For a bowl of soup. Now, I think it would have been right to just share, right? That would have been the better thing to do. That was what Jesus would have wanted us to do. But this is actually before Jesus was born. The story is from the Old Testament of the Bible, which is from before Jesus. And so it shows how somebody could be tricky and maybe win something that necessarily they didn't really weren't supposed to have. But... Like I said, we're going to learn more about Esau and Jacob next week, I think. So today, for our craft, we're going to... We have a picture that you can make. They were angry at each other, right? The brothers were angry with each other. And I want you to make a picture for somebody that maybe you aren't so happy with right now. And hopefully that'll help them feel better and maybe make you feel better about them. Okay? There's also... Um, where did it go? This page. And it has some pictures of people. And one of the things that we can do when we're upset is we can pray to help for God to help us feel better. Or to help us be nicer or have better feelings towards the person that we're upset with. So we can 
decorate this person and put their name on it and then we can pray for them and I think that would be kind of a fun thing to do too okay well, I want to thank you guys all for being with me. And like I said, I hope that you all join us for Bible school. And um, why don't we say a prayer and thank God that we were together, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for the opportunity to be together. Thank you for your love and care and for allowing us to be with each other. Even though we can't be together in person. Thank you for your blessings, God. Amen. Well, have a good day, and I hope I see you next week.